Welcome to the Life in London podcast, the show that focuses on the politics, arts, and culture in London. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Norma Estrada. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the science behind being bilingual with a special expert from King's College. We will also hear the experiences of several bilingual guests originally from Poland, Russia, and Hong Kong. So stay tuned. Our first guest is Dr. Martin Dewey, a linguistics lecturer at King's College. Can you tell us more about your area of study? My research focuses on multilingualism and language acquisition, language development. Can you explain the difference in brain activity between monolinguals and bilinguals? Since the early 2000s, quite a lot of studies that have focused on trying to understand whether or not bilinguals have different brains to monolinguals. And there's quite a lot of evidence to suggest that they do, that, for example, the plasticity in our brains is different when we're bilingual than when we're monolingual. So that, in other words, we can create more extensive neural pathways and networks as a result of being bilingual than if we are monolingual. And some of these advantages have been found in young infants, as young as 18 months, for oh, example. Wow. So before they're able to produce language, mm-hmm. there is some kind of cognitive advantage that can be identified. Today's panel consists of Wilson Che, a freelance photographer originally from Hong Kong. We have Susanna Malagowski from Poland and Zara Karliova from Turkmenistan, all students currently attending university in the capital. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. What do you think are some of the benefits of being bilingual? Let's start with Wilson. Most of the time when you are fluent in a language, you have different personalities within languages. Mm-hmm. And sometimes to reach that personality of someone else or of yourself, you must speak what they're saying. And so by speaking three languages, I could uh, communicate fluently as well as into their real home personalities. Zara, what's been your experience? First of all, I feel like it helps you be more empathetic of non-native English speakers. Mm. Sometimes when they jumble up words, it's quite like I've jumbled up English words like my whole life. So (laughs) it's just nice to talk to someone who is bilingual. I think you have a very strong mind, especially when you're switching from one language to another. Mm -hmm. Lots of people ask me, do you think in English or do you think in Polish? Or like, how do you do it? Where like you're speaking to your mum one second in Polish and then one second in English. I bet you have the same thing, like how people understand how you can quickly change. What language did you speak at home? So we spoke Russian at home, but I think with like a lot of cultures, you kind of mix it because we grew up in quite like a international environment. We always went to pretty much English speaking schools. So English and Russian was always mixed, but primarily Russian with my family. But I spoke uh, Cantonese with my parents and um, I was also learning English on side and Mandarin at school as well. I only speak Polish at home unless it's with family, friends, parents, friends, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, yeah. Like a very, like, it, within, like, your close-knit exactly, community. Exactly, yeah. Okay, fair. What do you guys think are some of the disadvantages to being bilingual or multilingual? Um, I cannot lie to you. I have felt sometimes um, awkward speaking Polish on, like, the bus with my parents and stuff because I have seen people be horrible to people about speaking their own language, being like, this is England, you should speak English. Um, so sometimes I have been like, oh, mum, let's speak a bit quieter, which I know is not a good thing. But now I'm definitely over that. I don't care. Um, And it's (laughs) obviously not a nice thing, um, but that's probably more of my to do with me being Polish rather than being bilingual. But I don't think I actually ever had any disadvantages while speaking Polish. I've never had anyone be racist to to my face, but I've had the stereotypes Mm. said to me. Zara, what about you? Hmm. Maybe with Russian people are quite like surprised that I speak Russian. Okay. And they want to make like assumptions of like why do you speak Russian? They assume that I'm like half Russian and mm. half like Asian, but I'm fully Turkmen. Any last words, comments? But yeah, I'm very grateful and hopefully I want to learn like more languages. I love Poland. Respect. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this episode from start to finish. If you have any questions about the show or would like to check out my other projects, please find me on Instagram at Notorious underscore Norms and LinkedIn. I answer all messages, so don't hesitate to reach out. Until next time, ciao! Joy, Keen. Do svidania. Na razie.